Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Super Ninja Boy, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I managed to get myself to level 20 with a bunch of battling, even though I realized I should have just used the Magidor to go to uh, Arcadia Town automatically. But the extra experience didn't hurt either, and you didn't really have to watch me battle. So, I guess I might as well use the Serenitech to get over to, uh, damn hiccups, to a uh, Temple Bayon. Which, of course, as we remember, we had to go to the southwest of this town to find it. So, unfortunately, we do have a long way to go, it seems, and I don't think we have to cross that bridge. Just follow this river, and there you go. You should get there. And there it is! So, to play it on the safe side, I really should recover all my NP to make up for the amount that I've used. So I'll go to the Aaron bot to buy myself another meat bun. And there we go! I got my meat bun back. So, I guess it's time to move on. What do you want me to do, boys? Can you make a hole in the wall at Temple Bayon? I don't know why they put the voice box over there. Uh, let me check the wall. Well... It's not made out of regular stones, but no problem. Watch! Oh, is that simple? Great! You're entitled to receive the honor of Digger of the Year! Well, I'm an official digger now! Ha ha! Yeah, that sounded pretty lame. I think the Serenitech still works until you hear that music tone and... Oh. I guess when you enter a new area, you get erased. So we got ourselves a new enemy, which looks like some kind of Aztec pyramid. So let's take it out before it sacrifices us. And then rips out our beating heart to appease the gods. Apparently it has one eye. But if I get a nice lot of experience, that'll be great. Wow, really? I didn't even go that far. Eh, this bowl, not interested. Okay, I don't really want to use the Serena attack too much, because then I'll be really low on NP. So I might as well just escape from the battles if I have to. I'm thinking about going this way first. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, really. Oh, turns out the Serena attack was active, but I was still having battles. For 20 NP, that spell did not work the way it should when you enter a new area. Yeah, you're not worth my time, but apparently you are gonna have to be worth my time. So be it, let's dance. Remember, it takes like three hits to kill these guys. And they're not threatening otherwise. Unless you just turn your back to him. And even then, it's like very paltry damage. Alright, so. Let's just get to the top of this part here. And deal with some of the pits, gang. Oh, we have to keep climbing stairs. Okay, I did not know we were in the Tower Salvation game. Come on now. What the? Why'd I do that? So there's two of the members right there, and we gotta fight them. One at a time. Here I am! I'm Tango Man of the Pits Gang! I'm Evil Incarnate! I'm going to defeat you! Are you ready? Well, nice of you to ask if I was ready or not. So, looks like we have to take on Tango Man first. But for some reason, it looks like he's a woman. With boobs. Okay, has a nice amount of stamina, I've noticed. Oh, apparently he has an axe attack. Just keep them at bay. Like so. Like, not even gonna give him a chance to attack me. This doesn't... Oh, jeez. Apparently they throw that axe pretty quickly. And it's like a boomerang, it seems. So I 
unlock those axe armors from Castlevania. Man, a 1200 experience, that's pretty good. Let's deal with the other guy. Aha, I'm Straw Bear of the Pits. They say the exact same thing, except this guy just says ready instead of are you ready. That's the only difference. Oh, apparently it's a Gutsman meets Crab meets a Viking or something. This is what we got here. Literally the best that Culture Brain could come up with for Pits Gang members. And I only get 720 experience because I had to take on very few of them. Oh, there was a key! Okay, that works. So now we gotta go all the way back down to the first floor. Why don't you give me a few minutes? Well, actually, we might as well just fight this enemy on camera. It looks like an alien with a UFO. And for some reason, it's just posing around like, I am not a crook! Wow! I got hit like two or three times. Holy crap, that was an ass ton of damage. And you have to make sure you're pretty much on the exact right spot. Wow. Look how fast they fire off their shots. It's almost instantaneous. It's like you get zero time to react. Well, that time you have plenty of time. And that fooled me, to the point I took even more damage. But my level went up. Okay, give me a few minutes, I'm gonna get back down to the first floor. Okay, we're back to the first floor. This time we're gonna go in this direction. Hopefully I don't find myself going out of order as to where I should go. I'd really hate to like, go back again. But we'll see. Not interested in your crap today, but apparently you're interested in mine. Just watch out for me, I'm level 21 at this point. I don't take kindly to your type, though it's quite easy. Just keep on stepping up today. Perfect. Alright, so, looks like we gotta go like a few sets of stairs before we can get to the top part of this area. It's a bit annoying, because I mean, these rooms are quite long. You do have to do a lot of walking. And it's very hard to not have a battle at all when you're going through that little sequence. It's too bad you can't really hear much of the music, because every time you enter a new room, the music changes back to normal, like back at the beginning. Okay, two more members of the Pits gang. I should get myself to full health, just in case. I'm Sarface! Yeah. Okay, this is a completely different type of battle. He's playing onto the walls. Trying to find out where you can hit him. Okay, not, now I know. Okay, he throws spider webs. That'll slow me down if it hits me. Okay, now I know where I can hit him, like right on the leg. Damn it. I'm trying to get a turn on ya. For some reason, you can't climb the walls here, even though you can stick to the ceiling. Yeah, I got like multiple smacks on him at that time. There! Apparently even when he's stunned, you can hit him. That works for me. So that's three members down, only one more to go. It's my turn. Our purpose is almost achieved. Our last job is to defeat you. I'm Corrin, the strongest fighter of the Pits Gang. You better listen to me! I'm listening, you actually said something different. Oh dear god. Look at this arena. 
conveyor belt, spikes. What the hell is that? No, no. Oh, apparently when he does that attack. Oh, shit. You can actually die instantly here! Okay, as long as I stay on these platforms, I should be safe. This guy really is tough! No joke! Did I use up a lot of ninja eggs for this? Oh, dragon eggs. Ninja eggs. Okay, so I have to get myself in a position where I can hit him. So in other words, don't stay on the conveyor belts. Because you're just going to end up getting slaughtered. And worst case scenario, he never goes in a position where you can hit him. For some reason, I was immune at the time. Never mind. Can you float back down, please? I'd like to hit you. Oh, apparently you have, like, a range attack. Is that it? You were a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. And I just, like, took one or two steps and I gotta battle again. I'm, I'm not really interested in battling this. Okay, so I got a level counter three. That's nice. And this here will be Ninja Claws. Oh, nice. A much more awesome version of Santa Claus, I believe. Also, I might want to heal myself. So, we'll check, go back to the first floor and check out that other room. Give me several minutes, I'll be right there. Alright, I'm back once again. This time, we're gonna go to this final area in Temple Bayon, which is over here. Luckily, we don't have to deal with the Piss Gang anymore, because we just defeated them! So once again, we're gonna have to go through a massive rotation of steps. And after that, we should be done with this place for good. I might as well just go this way, just to get all the rewards. In fact, it might be in my best interest to use that Serena Tech. Oh, you can't use it in dungeons? Oh, that would have been so nice to have. Okay, now we can know that this guy is actually level 21. Thanks to that level counter 3. Would have been an easy experience to take on that pyramid, because there's only one of them. And it moves quite slowly. Still, I didn't want to waste too much time. Okay, at least you still don't get charged NP for spells you can't use. That would have been a massive flaw if that could actually happen. So I definitely want to see what's in this box. If I could get a chance to. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ninja armor. Could have used that a little bit sooner. So, guess we're gonna meet you back at Arcadia Town. Give me several more minutes. I'll be right there. Okay, I made it back to Arcadia Town, so now let's go see the Prince. I mean, we did defeat the Pits Gang, so this town should have little to no worries. We gave you great trouble. How can we repay you? Please name it. The people in the town are, too. I'm looking for balls like this. Do you know anything about it? They are called aura balls, but I have no idea what they're... what they are. But I have a blue one. I'll give it to you in return for your help. Okay, I definitely will keep it. A gate to the undersea, undersea city Mu is at the pier near the Temple Bayon. I see. We'll check it out. Okay, so now we know where we need to go. We gotta go to the undersea town. What will they think of next? But I definitely want to go to the inn to get some rest.
Alright, so, now that I'm fully rested, I really should go to the item shop to stock up on... You can still hear the Serenitech wearing off in a town? Seems a little unnecessary, but okay. Yeah, it's be a good idea to get some dragon eggs. And I did use up quite a bit against Corrin. So... Guess we'll have to go check out that pier near Bayon. So we'll use the Serenitech. And then we'll head back to Bayon. Only this time we want to stick to the left side. It should be around here, actually. Yep, this is the spot. Okay, so we have to look around for this undersea town. Only question is, where do we look? I think this is the spot right here. I don't think I can go around this way. So it looks like I have to go through the other side. Ah, here it is. Here's the opening. Welcome to Moo! The city built on water! How the hell am I still breathing if there's, like, aquatic life around here? A man who controls that ferocious Nargi! Hmm... Yeah, you should be afraid of going out. Sunken ship near somewhere at the bottom of the sea, Nargi and her string puller are hiding there. Uh, first let's do some shopping. Oh, you happen to have jack shit, thanks. A long time ago, in the period of the Moo, it said that the scientific civilization existed. We, Moo people, are the descendants of it. They say an amazing form of transportation called the Ancient Giant existed. Hmm, well, Dr. Arkale was digging around for a giant. Okay, so it was Nargi that sent this town to the bottom of the sea, it seems. Well, I might as well talk to who's in here. Welcome to Moo Undercity World. At the worst time. And with no music. What do you mean? Well, four men called the Pits Gang have revived Nargi. And now General Bismol is controlling Nargi. Bismol took our aura ball. He said he'd let Nargi attack Moo if... If you didn't give up your aura ball. Is that what he said? Yes. It's very precious to us. We must get it back. We will give you a hand. There's a gate to the undersea world. Take care. We need a submarine. Let's have Dr. Justice make one. Yes. We have to go all the way back there. Believe it or not. That's possible. It could have been on some island. So, it looks like I'm gonna have to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we'll be back in Kingland to go see Dr. Justice and see what we can do about a submarine. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.